Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you run TP-Link Omada hardware, you're going to want to pay attention to this. So yesterday, which was October 21st, 2025, TP-Link released a couple of CVEs, actually more than a couple. It looks like there's four total. So if you head on over to support.omadanetworks.com and you go to the bulletins, you will see these. And one is CVE 2025 7850 and 7851. And the other is 2025 6541 and 6542. They are a 9.3 and an 8.7 and an 8.6 and a 9.3. So you're definitely going to want to pay attention to these. Now, they do have firmware fixes. If your Omada controller is not showing an update to these versions you're going to want to go check this out you can manually download the firmware log into the gateways and upload the firmware but you should definitely be aware if you're running omada i know a few people run an omada at scale you definitely are going to want to get these patched as soon as possible the first one is a command ejection vulnerability that may be exploited after the admin's authentication on the Omada gateways. And the other is an attacker may obtain the root shell on the underlying with the restricted conditions on Omada gateways. We don't have much more details than that. You can probably go look up the CVEs uh, on another site, get more specific information. I'll leave a link to this down below. Then the other two. Um, an arbitrary OS command may be executed on Omada gateways by the user who can log into the web management interface or by a remote unauthenticated attacker. Attackers may, be, may execute arbitrary commands on the device's underlying operating system. So make sure that you're getting these patched. If it's your system, set the time. If it's a customer system, make sure you let them know that you need to do some security updates and get this taken care of. You know, don't don't let this sit out there and at least TP-Link put these out there, made them available. I'm hoping with them being a CVE issuer now that uh, we will, you know, continue to see these types of things in the future. Like I said, I'll leave a link to these down below, but don't mess around with this kind of stuff. Make sure that you get your systems patched, whether it's TP-Link, Ubiquiti, Grandstream, Synology, Cisco, Juniper, Whoever it is, when they release a security update, make sure that you are doing uh, those security updates. That is for your safety, for your customer safety, for the safety of, of all of us. So I, I don't have any more information on this than you do, but like I said, I'll leave a link down below so you can check this out. Make sure you get your systems, systems patched. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow on follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need help patching your systems, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and talk about how this may have impacted you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. Get out there and patch your systems. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.